Welcome to our channel. Today, we delve into the story of London Euston Station, not the original Victorian masterpiece, but the modernist structure that replaced it in the 1960s. We'll explore its inception, public reception, current operations, and what the future holds with the advent of HS2. In the early 1960s, British Railways embarked on a modernisation programme aiming to electrify the West Coast Main Line. The original Euston station, opened in 1837, was deemed inadequate for the new era. Despite public outcry, including protests led by poet John Betjeman, the iconic Euston Arch and Great Hall were demolished. The new station, opened in 1968, featured a minimalist design, reflecting the architectural trends of the time. The new Euston station's design was met with mixed reactions. While it embodied the modernist aesthetic, many criticised it for lacking the grandeur and character of its predecessor. Some described it as dull and resembling a provincial airport building from the 60s. Today, Euston is one of London's busiest stations, handling over 42 million passengers annually, more than twice its intended capacity. This overcrowding has led to operational challenges, including congestion and limited facilities, prompting calls for significant upgrades. The High Speed 2 HS2 project promises a transformative future for Euston. Plans include constructing a new station adjacent to the existing one, featuring 10 new platforms dedicated to high-speed services. This redevelopment aims to alleviate current congestion and position Euston as a central hub in the UK's high-speed rail network. Amidst the modernisation, there's a movement to reconnect with Euston's heritage. The Euston Arch Trust has been advocating for the reconstruction of the original arch, using salvaged stones recovered from the River Lee. Rebuilding the arch would serve as a symbolic bridge between Euston's storied past and its ambitious future. Comparing the original and current Euston stations highlights a shift from ornate Victorian architecture to functional modernism. While the 1968 station addressed immediate operational needs, it lacked the aesthetic appeal of its predecessor. The upcoming HS2 redevelopment seeks to blend functionality with design, aiming to create a station that's both efficient and architecturally significant. London Euston Station stands at the crossroads of history and progress. From its 1960s transformation to the forthcoming HS2 era, it embodies the dynamic nature of urban development. As we look ahead, the challenge lies in honouring its rich heritage while embracing the innovations of the future. If you enjoyed this exploration of London Euston's past, present, and future, please like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the world's railway stations. Your support keeps our journey on track.